Heliocentrists' astronomical figures always sound perfectly precise, but they have historically been notorious for regularly and drastically changing them to suit their various models. For instance, in his time, Copernicus calculated the sun's distance from Earth to be 3,391,200 miles. The next century, Johannes Kepler decided it was actually 12,376,800 miles away. Isaac Newton once said, It matters not whether we reckon it 28 or 54 million miles distant, for either would do just as well. How scientific! Benjamin Martin calculated between 81 and 82 million miles. Thomas Dilworth claimed 93,726,900 miles. John Hine stated positively 95,298,260 miles. Benjamin Gould said more than 96 million miles and Christian Mayer thought it was more than 104 million. Flat earthers throughout the ages, conversely, have used sextants and plane trigonometry to make such calculations, and found the sun and the moon both to be only about 32 miles in diameter and less than a few thousand miles from Earth. Amateur balloon footage taken above the clouds has provided stunning visual proof that the sun cannot be millions of miles away. In several shots, you can see a clear hot spot reflecting on the clouds directly below the sun's spotlight-like influence. If the sun were actually millions of miles away, such a small localized hot spot could not occur. Another proof the sun is not millions of miles away is found by tracing the angle of sun rays back to their source above the clouds. There are thousands of pictures showing how sunlight comes down through cloud cover at a variance of converging angles. The area of convergence is, of course, the sun, and is not millions of miles away, but rather relatively close to Earth, just above the clouds.